Hello everyone and welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign in Attila Total War. My name is Ben Pope. This is Ben Pope Games. Last episode we just kind of defended against the Sassanids and they were pesky, they were rude. They sent armies over here and I, you know, I was like, well, screw you guys. I'm just gonna resolve because I have plenty of defenses. Um, also, I, you know, used mercenaries. I got rid of those mercenaries to keep my income stable. Uh, so now I have to recruit units. I'm recruiting swordsmen and horsemen here, and I'm also going to bring units from uh, this area, Chernonesis. Chersonesis? It's just mouthful. It's just a mouthful anyway. I was thinking of um, maybe trying to take over Orbia to get more of a foothold here. And I'll have to wait on that because I have to spend my money on beefing up my defenses here to make sure I have an army sitting in the city and one that I can possibly go and conquer some stuff um, with the desolate land. Maybe nobody will take the desolate land. Also on the main the main bulk of our nation here we have to pay attention to some public order like these guys are um, losing some, some stuff. Uh, for some reason my Aryan Christian influence is going down, so that's probably what happened. And I don't know if it was something because of recent events or what. I forgot. I really just forgot. Uh, we are upgrading our church here. And I don't know what the difference is between now and the last time I played. Uh, because the maintenance cost for the building the church wasn't there last episode and now it is the only mod that I actually I don't think any mods were turned off or on so I don't know maybe CA decided to turn it back on off and on whatever so apparently I don't have an edict here so we're gonna go with the Christian influence so I think we're doing not so good here either um, yeah so that and looks like there was uh, the governor of the same area. Uh, let's give him the hunter trait and stag, which will unlock this for the next time. And we have to unlock the public order bonus from the legend. I think that's really useful to have. Um, yeah, so that's about it. We're gonna end the turn and see what our neighbors do. Some, well, one of the only friendly neighbors uh, is the Visigoths here. Everybody else kind of is, you know, they just sort of deal with us. They don't really care about what our status is and what we're doing. Uh, that or they're at war with us. And, you know, hopefully that kind of doesn't um, get us destroyed sooner than we anticipate. Not that we anticipate to get, to get destroyed. It, you know, it's a tough campaign and they... Uh, they tried to make the Attila campaign more difficult, and that's okay, that's fine, I, I'm okay with that. It's just that um, some people want to play this for like, you know, oh, a new setting, a new story, you know, let's just do the same thing as we did before. Uh, but that never that's never the case because you have different units, uh, they play different tactically, um, they, they try to balance the new units and, and things come out uh, you know different than what they used to be so somebody died uh, that's, looks like a lady by the name Theodananda uh, this <laughs> person is still wavering his loyalty there's a plague plague of Justinian in Cheronesis uh, that's brilliant foul pestilence has erupted within our lands no doubt a result of filth and squalor Sanitation is key to fighting off disease, fanning off disease. I will have uh, attitude with Venetians. Cool. Maybe they will trade with me. I don't think my uh, sanitation was bad. Actually, it doesn't even tell me if my sanitation was bad now. I have three sanitation bonus there. One squalor. That's plus two squalor. That's three squalor. And my sanita sanitation should be equal to their demands. I shall upgrade the bloody stores. 
why not? Hopefully I won't regret that. Uh, and let's move out of the city. I don't intend... It's minus four. I don't intend to um, stay there with these guys. In fact, I'm going to march them... Um, why don't I just march them out here? Can I do that? I can I can do that. I can do balls. Let's see. Do you guys have space? You do. Okay, never mind. We will. We will take you to here and Misters. Alright, let's just go to the water. Can you Yeah. Done. And now you, sir, can make your way back. And hopefully that won't kill you. <laughs> okay. So we have oh, we have plenty of bows now. Um, I'm suspecting I should get more cavalry to finish off this army. And my other army has... Ready for orders. Bows. Okay. And I think my contact is bothering me, bothering me, so that's fun. Now why don't we have the regular uh, Germanic spears here? We have the uh, Latin or Roman type spears, but not the Germanic ones. Wow, these guys start with some XP bonus. Um, I think an Onaga would be nice to have. Oh, nigger. Onager. Warriors all. Uh, okay, so why don't we recruit an Onager for... Yeah, we'll get an Onager and, and a horseman. A These horsemen are not going to be that great against, uh, you know, chasing down other cavalry because they're not that fast. But we can get them into a melee fight, and well, they will do pretty darn good. Um, okay, so it is winter. We are making money. We can't spend any more money. Let's see if we can do anything on this side. Solona is negative eight now for public order, and we're getting construction cost and growth, which isn't really helping. So let's switch to the. Um, Presence of Christianity or influence. Will this give us this will give us money too. We'll give more tax. I think we're making plenty. We're giving two thousand one hundred and ninety eight from here. So let's just do the influence. Uh Sirmium is still okay. And our church is being built there. This area Oh, uh, that's right. I was supposed to, um, supposed to work on the, <laughs> on actually rebuilding Serdica. That didn't work out, did it? You can move again, so why don't we go back here and support the army? And you maybe, um, can you not support the army? Maybe I want to keep an eye out over at... Oh, why don't we just do a loop? Let's just go up here for a second. See nobody up there. Maybe we'll come around and... Yeah, sort of go by Sir, Sir, Sirmium. I seem to have an issue with pronouncing names of nations. Let's see if diplomatically this has helped us, if any, we would like Greetings, friend. to trade with I our friends. Hmm. Looks like we won't be easing anything today with them. I want to, I wanted to make my pocket fuller by having more income from their trade. 
which is a no-go. I suppose that festival bonus helped a little bit. It it might benefit after the few turns um, bonus expire. Maybe we can, you know, talk to them then. Yay, I do appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully this has some excitement parts in in it, the episode. Um, you know, always, every episode tends to just be sort of a, you know, maybe something will happen, maybe it won't. But hopefully you guys find something interesting and, and learn something while I play through. There's, um... You know, there's always a chance that there won't be a fight. Actually, we haven't had any real fights in a while. And last time when the um, assassin is attacked, I could have fought those. I respectfully request that we cooperate fully in opposing our many enemies. I rivals. sure. Uh, you are defensively allied with the Visigoths, so that makes us a three-way partners here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's take a thousand bucks. Coins, gold, denarii, what have you. Happy faces all around. There's a matter of state. A subject named Cyrus says that unfortunately I was unable to prevent one of our guests from making a fool of himself. He gravely insulted our good nation. We must just. Uh, well, wait. We have just received an official complaint about him. Engage in faction politics to deal with this. Okay. Uh, I don't think he... Um, I, so it says, I'm sure it was just the drink talking. We are all prone to such indiscretions on occasions after all. Um, I don't really want to be a jerk. Demand tribute. I don't... Mm, I think we're gonna in ignore it for a minute. Um, gravely insulted our good nation, though. I think we're gonna demand tribute if it's a grave insult. Um, you know, just in case somebody's gonna get mad at me for not um, doing my part. We're gonna seek a wife for Mr. Gundolf. Our um, High King still doesn't have a wife. Uh, we can afford to seek another wife. I think it's going to cost some influence, but um, I can adopt someone. Why don't we adopt someone? 44, 46, 54. We have any youngsters in the mist? 32, 27. A relentless attacker. Ricared. Hmm. Yeah, let, you know, why not? Let's. Mm. Can we seek. Arrange marriage. With. Ooh. Uh, is it general? Is it governor? Let's arrange marriage with the general here. Okay. And. I suppose. Suppose somebody who died was. Anyway, okay. Forget it. Click off. Stop it. <sighs> okay. Back in. There. Now they're not all highlighted. Highlighted. Like they're gone. Alright, so we're gonna do another uh, Seek Wife for our king, although he. Likely won't get anyone, and this person can seek a wife, and same with him, uh, and same with him, and she doesn't have enough influence, and neither does he. Okay, well, the one good thing is that we have plenty of um, people involved. In our family tree and other nobles and politics, and these guys are you know beefy. I mean, they're 
the warlords and tribal and, and high judges and stuff, you know, you don't mess with these guys. Right? Let's see what we can do. Uh, we are gonna peek down this way. Uh, there is a defending force there. Ready for orders. And we are slowly still recouping our numbers. Um, if I was to hire mercenaries, there's not many left, as I expected. We will need some... Um, we need some warriors, you know. Attacks against Cav, Missile Block Chance, Excellent Armor. Armor piercing damage is bad. Maybe defense, Armor 53. Yeah, I mean these... Mm -mm -mm. Why... What's wrong with this guy? <laughs> what, why can't she move? I mean, you moved last time, right? Alright, let's get you on land. Seems like that's a better idea anyway. Okay. Uh, let's spend some money by upgrading... Okay, do the trade depot. Yeah, definitely. Definitely trade, I'm thinking. Um, so we get us a lot more squalor. Sanitation. Three versus four currently. Yeah. I guess we're gonna wait. And I, I think I'm gonna keep my money too. Um, because I could definitely use it. What do we need in this area? We have a clay pit. We have the farm. Chieftain house, which wasn't really... It's not really useful. That's sanitation. This will need sanitation. Um, yeah, I. You know what? Who cares? Let's just let's just pick something. I have to do all of them anyway. We must. We must build our nation strong. We must foresee future threats and eliminate them. We must find the threat. We can sniff it out with our senses and turn it into a treat. Eat up the threat before it becomes too harmful. Something like that, you know? Just gotta build up. If that sounded awkward, it wasn't meant to be, but... <laughs> it just felt like saying a bunch of mumbo jumbo gibberish. It made sense in my head. It did. Mm. Come on, Western Romans. Save your own arse. You're in trouble. The Angles, the Varinians. Well, hopefully he doesn't cause too much trouble in my city. Axelum, who's those guys? Getulians. People I'm at war with that I've never met, thanks to the Sassanids. Judea. I like seeing, you know, actual sort of names of countries pop up now. Okay, um, Theodoric and Valdamerka are about to. Mary, but scandal, somebody has objected to the planned marriage. 
This dramatic turn of events must be rectified. How do you wish to proceed? I believe the bride has plenty of influence, so we're gonna take her influence away. Uh, it shouldn't really mess up her thing, anyway. Um, Hermenegild. What? Hermenegild. Hermen. Oh, gosh. Help me. Uh, so he's gonna marry a worthy bride, and that's okay. Uh, Gondorf, same. You know, I haven't even looked at her. <clears throat> She's flirtatious. I don't know how this influences a husband's authority and cunning. I guess she'd be flirtatious with other people? You know what, let's take the flirtatious lady, Brunilda, and marry him, her to Artachis. I think that's fine. A holy vision! While walking in the wilderness, a young traveler claims to have seen a vision. So there's a good omen. Which, public order, plus two for three turns. Thank you. Rejected! <laughs> good golly. Rejection! Uh, flirtation and rejection, that's the name of today's episode, maybe. Alright, what will bring our public order up from this mess? This will, uh, but it will create more squalor and Amber Trader won't do. <sighs> Public order 2 goes 2 versus some squalor there at the same amount of growth in public order. Um, yeah, I don't know if I want I don't know if I want it. I tell you what though, what we could do is um, venture forth to Domavia. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's 84, 8840, so we'll do nothing for now. Maybe take it over next turn, I don't know, we'll see. Of course, that's making Dardania uh, quite upset. Um, might as well increase some public order by the use of building that town center. Is our church finished? It is. Why don't we recruit a fellow priest? Um, somebody that can play the Telf. Someone that's progressive. That would be nice. Uh, or a legislator. Well, golly. Um, if I recruit the priest now, I won't have money to... Um, what's it called? Colonize next turn. I might still not have enough money to colonize. Because it was 88 something. So let's recruit the priest anyway. Priests are experts in administration and masters of manipulation. They are recruited via the recruit agents button when a settlement is selected, but may require certain buildings to be constructed first. Priests are vulnerable to spies and especially effective against champions. Right, so we will have you go into. Um, Whatever area this is called, it takes about the same amount of turns. To Macedonia, because they're hurting. Um, even though they have an army there and stuff. Okay, so um, we didn't really Didn't really do much that turn, we just kind of talked, we blabbered, blabbered and, you know, acquired a priest. Um, which is nice, that's the first priest we ever got in, in this campaign. It's about time, it's like turn 123 or something. It's about time. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward to changing up uh, the type of videos I make a little bit. Uh, once in a while I'll have 
an odd video, you know, besides the regular playthroughs. And I'm hoping to have, um, what's it called? To, uh, to have space and time to do it, to do them all, you know, like, j there just isn't enough time in the day for me to be like a fully, uh, a full-time youtuber so it's kind of why I decided to upload just three times a week and do uh, two videos a day for those three days which I think is working okay all right so the diplomatic dispute what oh oh So that thing was about it was it was a visitor from the Venetians that said all those things while he was drunk, and I was like, "Oh, you must pay for that!" And they paid, but now they're mad at me. How feel you? Oh, but it's improving, apparently. Um, let's Welcome, worthy find out if no. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. I'm just gonna try this out. I'm just gonna be like, hey, you know, if I give you some money. Oh, you would take it, huh? Uh, in fact, let's see. Trade agreement. Money offered. Close to 3,000. No. Because I'm making, I mean, I make that money back and like, Three turns, four turns, five turns. Yeah, but they're not gonna have it. They're just like, no, that's not enough, sir. You must pay eight thousand. Not even then. Holy cow. I guess you don't need Depot's money. I guess I could just be like, turn my empire. Oh. But I trust you will not object to a cup of wine first. <gasps> Holy cannoli. Oh my gosh. Hang on. No, I went too far. What are the Huns doing? Ooh. So I can just... How many... But... How many territories do they have? They have five regions. And they would join my land just like that. I think I'd be stupid not to take it. How about the Visigoths? You honor us. No. Okay, so let's go back to the Venetians. And you know Welcome, worthy since friend. Let us we are a worthy friend and uh, there's a high chance of them joining us. Um Let's 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 check it out though. One sec, one second. I'm I'm gonna check out something really quick, and then armies six, six out of ten, two out of five fleets, priests, spies, champions, governors. Yes, it does say six out of one hundred governors because I installed a mod that just makes me allows me to have pretty much unlimited governors. So six. they're gonna join my empire. Will rejoice at the words we have spoken today. You honor us with these terms. Sweet. All right, let's let's cancel that. In fact, we can look at if there's any new friendly nations. Um, close by. That's all desolate. This is all desolate. Uh, the Huns are on our land. We acquired a lot of land. Did we get two armies and I guess one spy? I suppose. A fleet. Wow, okay, so coat pens, military worth. 
shifts and holds. Why isn't there a mine? I, I can remove this. Well, guys, that's it. That's that was insane. Um, I'm just gonna look at it really quick. Oh no, wait, that was the wrong town. I'm looking. I'm supposed to looking at this. No, it's the same thing. Code pens, military wharf. Um, I suppose I can remove this. Cause all those give me a ton of public order. I need that that gold mine, right? I'm assuming. That's four armies of bloody <laughs> Huns. Okay, so there's a lot of work on our hands now. Um, we expanded our empire greatly, but uh, look at look at this army. I mean, jeez, mercenary there. All of these guys can be upgraded. Wow! Did I just cheat? I don't think so. I think. I think we did okay. I think we used a nice and useful mod that allows us to uh, tell our friendly neighbors that hey, you know what, we're better off fighting together against the masses uh, versus you having to fight by yourself. And thus we now are probably higher up in strength. We're still strength rate ranked 5. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody higher than us is the Huns, and they probably don't like us at all. But we shall see. We'll deal with that somehow next time, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and uh, you will come back for the next. Look at all that land we have. All right, thank you for watching. Please do comment and let me know what you think. Also, you can hit the like button. Uh, it's simple and it supports the channel. And yeah, share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. Stuff like that. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.